Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials, all info, no fluff. How y'all doing? It's been a long time. Today I wanted to show you solo in front, or sometimes it's called solo dimming. And I'll give you a quick backstory before. I used to have a teacher who would say never solo anything, because when you solo tracks, you do things to them that then in the mix may not work, and probably doesn't. And I think we can all relate to this. You know, you got a mix going, and you're trying to dial in your kick tone, or you recorded some guitar or bass, and you're trying to dial in the tone of that. So what do you do? You go ahead and you solo your track. So I'm soloing my kick and you know and I'm adjusting the EQ or adding saturation or what have you and then so once you do a bunch of operations you unsolo the track and you hear your mix And it sounds totally different because you're hearing things soloed and you weren't really hearing things in context. So that's why that old teacher of mine would always say mix in context. That said, it can be quite tough if you have a really dense mix going and you're working on one of the elements to actually hear what you're doing. And that's fair enough, right? So I got this dense mix going. I have like three layers of kicks and I'm trying to work on like my kicks EQ. Like fair enough, it's gonna be pretty difficult for me to, you know, really hear what I'm doing to that tone. So there is a good kind of like midway here and that's called soloing in front or solo dimming. Rather than muting all the other tracks, we are just dimming them down like a dimmer on a light. So I have it on my toolbar, I hit it. And now if I solo my bass, we're hearing all the elements, but we're hearing the bass louder. So we get to keep the context, but we also get to hyper focus on whatever track it is we're soloing, which I think is pretty cool. So let me show you how to set it up. So you can go to your actions list and you can find options, solo in front, and it has a state. The state is right now off and you can turn it on. And the other thing is you can adjust how much dimming it does. So go to your preferences and go to audio and then mute solo. You have the solo settings here. Solo in front dimming is a level that you set. So I have set mine to minus 12 dB and minus 12 dB is about a quarter as loud as it would normally be in the mix. So you can also, you know, make this like minus six. A minus six would be only half as loud, so then it will sound like this. And the other cool thing is there's this other command called adjust solo in front dim. It's only usable with MIDI CC or mouse wheel. So I have it set to my shift control and mouse wheel. I can hit play. And then if I go shift control and adjust my mouse wheel, I can adjust the amount of the solo. So right now it's essentially normal solo. And if I start moving my mouse wheel, I kind of start hearing my track. And it goes all the way from minus infinity to essentially disabling the solo feature. So this is about 12 dB right now. And if I go to my, yeah, it's 10 dB, close enough. So that's it for today. And this mix, by the way, is part of a series that I'm doing on Instagram. It's called Riff Riff Pass. And essentially the idea is that you improvise a riff, you tag one of your friends, they play something on top of it, and then they pass it around and it just goes around and around. And we don't really care about quality. A lot of people are recording on their phones and stuff. I think it's a fun idea. We've done two or three videos of that so far. So if you're into that kind of stuff, and if you're a musician, follow me on Instagram. And the link will also be up there and in the description. I also do music quizzes. So that's kind of fun. And as always, if you like the work I do, please donate to me from buymeacoffee.com. The link will be in the description. Thank you to Andreas and Mare Production for being our most recent donors. I really appreciate it. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.